Yellowstone Supervolcano, under the watchful eyes of science. In the northwestern corner of Wyoming, beneath rolling forests, steaming geysers, and peaceful bison herds, lies something far more powerful than anything visible on the surface a colossal volcano known as the Yellowstone Supervolcano. To tourists, Yellowstone is a wonderland of thermal springs and wildlife. But two scientists at the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO. It is a restless giant whose every tremor and sigh could signal changes in Earth's deepest processes. The Sleeping Titan Imagine a volcano so powerful that its past eruption 640,000 years ago released over 1,000 cubic kilometers of magma, blanketing half of North America in ash. That eruption created the current Yellowstone caldera, a 45-mile wide depression that is so vast it is almost invisible to the naked eye, blending with forests and lakes. GS scientists know that Yellowstone is far from a dead volcano. Its underground system is alive. Its heat feeds thousands of geysers, hot springs, fumaroles that bubble relentlessly, whispering secrets of a hot heart that has not yet cooled. The ceaseless monitoring. The USGS and YVO teams have built one of the world's most advanced volcanic monitoring systems here. Over 50 seismometers are scattered across Yellowstone National Park, capturing every earthquake, even those smaller than magnitude one that no human can feel. These quakes happen daily. In fact, Yellowstone experiences between 1,500 to 3,000. Earthquakes per year, many clustered in swarms that last for days or weeks. Every tremor, tells a story. Some are caused by fault lines adjusting under the park, others by hydrothermal fluid pushing through underground cracks. A few, though rare, may relate to magma shifting deep beneath the crust. Alongside the seismometer's GPS stations are anchored firmly into the earth, measuring ground deformation. A rise of just one centimeter might not seem like much, but two scientists. It can indicate pressurized magma moving upward or underground hydrothermal fluid accumulating, pushing the crust slightly higher. Eyes in the sky. Above. Yellowstone, satellites equipped with INSA or Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar scan the land from space detecting minuscule ground movements over vast areas. Combined with GPS data, they provide a 3D model of how the caldera breathes, sometimes swelling upward, sometimes subsiding downward. Between 2004 and 2009, Yellowstone's caldera rose at an unprecedented rate of 7 centimeters per year. Alarming. Many researchers? But then, the uplift slowed and reversed into slow subsidence. Since 2015, the caldera has been sinking at a rate of 3 to 5 centimeters per year, a sign that pressure beneath is stabilizing or fluids are draining out of underground. Chambers. The geysers speak. Yellowstone's hydrothermal system is the most visible reminder of its volcanic power. Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, can suddenly explode with jets of water over 100 meters high, with eruptions lasting up to 40 minutes. recent increased activity with over 40 major eruptions per year since 2018. It's raised curiosity among scientists and fear among some observers. The USGS 
Lights, however, reassures that these geyser outbursts are not driven by magma movement, but by underground water boiling explosively due to heat from the deeper magmatic system. They install temperature sensors, gas analyzers, and thermal cameras to monitor geyser basins daily, capturing every pulse and surge. 